what we have here is the perfect balancing act. On this side, a sirloin steak. And over here, this is Satan, a great vegetarian alternative. They're both loaded with protein. In fact, as you can see, they have about the same amount. However, when we set our scale for fat, well, that's a different story. The steak has 12 grams of saturated fat, the Satan has virtually none. So, while Satan is a great substitute for meat, it's a lot lighter. I'll use Satan, our food as medicine ingredient, in my Chef Envy approved light vegetarian chili verde. It's low fat, it's high flavored, and it's light, and you'll never miss the meat. See you later in the show. Today, I'm ready to spice up your life with my vegetarian chili verde. You're gonna love it. We start with onion and garlic. Here's an easy way to open an onion. Take off one end, take off the other, slice down the middle, peel one of the onion layers off, and then the fewer cuts, the less you have to do to get your dice. One, two, three, four, and then you turn it 90 degrees and go the other way. Next, open up your head of garlic, turn it upside down and press on it, and release the garlic cloves, crushing them gently. Garlic is powerful culinary medicine and it makes almost everything taste better. This is all gonna go into the saucepan. Like most chilies, it's a one pot dish. This is extra light olive oil. And then you add them both at once to the hot saucepan. Now for the Satan. Satan is wheat gluten that's high in protein. And it is a wonderful substitute for tofu. It slices a lot like chicken. Watch, you just slice it easily on the board into quarter inch bite-sized chunks. In a chili, you want things that will fit on the chili spoon. And we can add it with some cumin to the sauteing onion and garlic. Add the cumin directly, mix it up a little bit, and then add the Satan. Next, a little bit of green salsa. This salsa is very high in potassium, great for controlling blood pressure. Now we're ready for vegetable broth and green chilies. Foods that are the same color, these chilies and that tomatillo salsa, taste good together. That's why we're using two greens. After about 10 minutes, add your beans. I found some white northern beans, and they're terrific if you have cannellinis, use them, navy beans, whatever you have, use them. Ooh, this one's been simmering a little while. One of the best parts about chili is the fact that you can put garnishes on it and make it even prettier and more tasty. I like Mexican oregano, some jalapeno slices, very nice, plus a little bit of diced avocado, a little bit of cilantro right on top. There we go. A fantastic chili verde that's even better the next day, if there's any left. For the complete recipe, check out our website. And remember, the fountain of youth starts in the kitchen. Chantani, may you live 100 years. For Chef MD, I'm Dr. John LaPuma. That's good. Learn more about culinary medicine today. Order Chef MD's Big Book of Culinary Medicine at chefmd.com and sign up for free weekly recipe emails while you're there.